Okay, so it's it sounds like they're on the track. I'm gonna hop in this thing. And uh, yeah, we're racing the Badger Midget. I'm also racing the USAC Midget, but uh, this, we're gonna do a different video for the Badger Midget and uh, I better go. K20 motor, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So what happened to it last night? The bottom of the fuel cell hit the ground so hard, it ripped the mounts right out of the tank. All four of them. So, yeah. so we lost fuel. Well, we pull the line off. Flipped yeah. over to the left side and pulled that push off line. Off. All right, they're out. They got, they got their hands full. They got three cars, two cars in the Badger Midget. And uh, this is my Badger Midget. Gonna throw my camera on the car for some footage. I don't know where to go with it. So the Badger Midget has the throttle exposed. I'm going to zoom in, it's a little silver thing. You'll see it moving around and that's my throttle input. Alright, so the Badger Midget makes about 300, maybe a little over 300 horsepower. It's naturally aspirated on methanol. It's basically a stock bottom end um, with, with a better MSD ignition and the mechanical fuel injection on it. I love that I can see the throttle, even I can't keep my eyes off of it, because I want to know what I'm doing too. Off of the front stretch, off of four on the front stretch is pretty treacherous, and uh, that is the one spot it's easy to stick in the fence. So we go yellow, and ultimately I'm going where they are not, because I don't know really who I'm racing with. Sun Prairie, a flat circle three-eighths of a mile. They run these Badgers on a local show, so they have a bunch of them, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's been a really short week for me, uh, go from Eldora to BC39, and so I didn't really have time to edit all the video that I wanted to from Eldora, and this was a quick edit, so I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to go check out my sponsors, Wits RC Racing Products. Go like and subscribe. Maybe go get you a shirt at shopteamez.com. Thank you for all of those that have, because we've been doing really good at selling, selling shirts online. So thank you. So the Badger Midget is probably still close to 100 horsepower off of a National Midget. I think the Toyota... SR11, they all make about 400 horsepower. Uh, so that makes the Badger Midget about a half second to a second off the pace. You wouldn't notice because uh, you're, you're trucking around there. Oh, that was pretty sweet. We picked off a win. Yeah, you look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And this thing just kind of goes through the hole, it's so nice. Was it better on the bottom, down here? It was hard to say. Yeah. It looked good everywhere. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, we start seventh in the Badger Midget. We we're about to push out for the feature. I think they're working the track a little bit. Huh? They work the top just a little bit. Well, that's good. The top sucked in the last race. Oh, you'll be all right. Sweet. Good luck. Thank you. You lock in gear? Uh, no. I didn't think so. All right, man. Go have some fun. Thank you. I can tell the truck behind me is an old truck because it smells like an 80s pickup truck right now. Uh, soaking it in. Down here at Angel Park Speedway. And we are ready to go race it. I start seven, so we're on the bottom row, but the bottom looks pretty good. Pushing off a midget, you push it off, you'll see the throttle. I'll move the throttle a couple times once it gets rolling there, and then as soon as I get done doing that, I flip the switch and it goes. 
You gotta prime the thing. And up next, I don't recommend this, but this is why I run a four-spoke steering wheel. The spoke was in my way. I had to take the steering wheel off while I was rolling and get it in the right position. Superior steering wheels builds my steering wheels, and we're working on a new steering wheel. One that I designed. We're going to call it Racer X, but it is green. And keep your eye on the throttle because the track is slick. And in the slick, driving the thing is the most important part. You have to race the competition, you have to race the racetrack, but ultimately you have to make good laps on the racetrack. And pedaling the car in the right place is how you do that. And you can see I am pedaling this thing big time. All the way down is wide open, pointed towards the left front is out of the throttle. I got a roadblock here. And we got Chase McDermott on the bottom, and he's one of the good guys. Working up, going high, try to find some moisture and cut across. It looks like I clear McDermott, get to the bottom. But I can't clear the guy on the top. There's McDermott again. Oh, talk about a roadblock. That's okay. We still got a lot of laps to go here. Sometimes being patient in the car is so hard to do in situations like this. But crashing the car is not good. So you just have to be patient. Oh yeah, I see the seas parting. God, that was close to a right rear. But it is game on now. That was the longest five laps. So we're now in fifth. And we can see everybody we need to ahead. Oh no. It just shut off again. The old 57 broke two nights in a row. And uh, hey, sometimes it'd be like that. Oh. It is hot. That was a lot of work today. And uh, that totally sucks that it broke. Because I feel like we were getting ready to put a fucking whooping on them. But we didn't. And it'd be like that sometimes. How you like my helmet? Don't forget to go like and subscribe. I'm out.